We just saw debugging using the integration with Node.js and running your test code under the Node.js debugger. Sometimes your code needs to run in a browser's JavaScript environment. In this tutorial step, we're going to run our tests under the integrated debugger executing in Chrome. All right, we're in TDD mode. We have our code on the left. We have our tests on the right, test output at the bottom. Let's stop the test runner here for a moment because we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And um, I'm out of full screen mode because I'm going to be bringing a browser up in just a moment. And let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing. We're going to be debugging our test running code. And the test is going to be running in Chrome's JavaScript environment using a run configuration called JavaScript debug run configurations. So I actually have, as part of the generated project, we have one called debug application. So I'm gonna to go to it. Let's actually take a look at what that looks like. It is of type JavaScript debug. It's got this name. It points at a URL and says to use Chrome, and then it finds everything it needs from that. Uh, one thing I'll need to do is run my site so that it's listening at that URL, localhost colon 3000. It's running. And so now if I go to this debug application run config, if I run it, it's going to fire up a Chromium instance, a, I'm sorry, a Chrome instance in a private profile. Doesn't have any of the history, any of the cookies, anything shared with your normal profile, throws it away at the end of each run so you don't have any conflicts with old data, and it shows me my site. So here I am, I'm running, that's all great. So I'll close that because what I want to do is instead of running just normally, I want to, oh, I want about running. I want to debug my application. So for example, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a breakpoint here. Oh, I needed that. Run the debug again. And it's firing up Chromium in a private uh, profile. And so now if I reload, then the browser stops execution of JavaScript in the browser, but from what then the IDE. So you think you're still doing the same thing we did under Node.js. You have all of the same UI, this nice tool for the debugger, and we're stopped on a breakpoint, and I can bring up evaluate expression, and I can say name dot two uppercase and evaluate it. But this is all being shipped over the wire using the Chrome debug protocol to execute in Chrome, but to send the results back to the IDE and move the IDE around. So if I close this, I can step into things, step out of things. I can uh, like, we'll step out and see what's the next step after this is my div and I can continue executing my code. This is all a great way to work in the I integrated development environment while still doing your testing and your execution in the browser.